This is your sign. If you've been wanting to manifest your dream life, achieve your health and fitness goals, learn how to prioritize yourself, become more independent, work on your confidence, self-love, and healing, you have come to the right place. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to become the best version of yourself, how to prepare and reset for the new year or just a new beginning, and of course, showing you the steps that you need to take in order to build your dream life. Realistically, I like to start off my reset routine slow. This is your reminder that it's okay to take time off. Social media can be overwhelming, making us feel like we need to be productive and busy 24-7. I always spend the last couple of days of the year recharging, resetting, and relaxing. I don't ever expect myself to get my life together, develop a bunch of new healthy habits, or just change my life in the span of a couple days because that's obviously very unrealistic. So I try to focus more on self-care and doing a ton of reflecting. We need to set goals. This is obviously the most important part. We need to be able to actually visualize our goals, prepare and plan before the new year. I'm gonna show you how I go about goal setting and tell you guys some of my goals for the new year so that you guys can get ideas for yours. <laughs> Step one, we need to visualize our higher selves, the dream girl that we want to become. This is the part where you have to be a little delusional and remember that your potential is limitless. So go into detail and write out exactly how you envision the dream girl that you want to build. What does she do? What does her daily routine look like? How do people describe her? What are her habits? We just finished up the most important step and that is actually writing out how you visualize your dream life. You guys have to do this before you do anything else because this is going to guide you when you're setting your goals, making your vision board, before every year, I used to always ask my future self questions like, did you accomplish blank? And I stopped doing that because I realized that in order to manifest your dream life, you need to actually believe that you're going to accomplish your goals, meaning you can doubt them. Instead, ask your future self questions like this, where instead of doubting if something is going to happen, you're believing it's going to happen and predicting how it's going to turn out. This journal prompt here has changed my life. I highly recommend that you guys screenshot it and use it. Doing this is so useful because now I can take the next step. I can go on onto my iPad, go onto Pinterest, and actually put together a cute little vision board for 2023. It is time for a new vision board. And I take my vision boards super serious. I went out to FedEx and I printed out a bunch of pictures to put onto my vision board. And I do have a specific way of putting together my vision board. The way that I make my vision board is I separate it into categories and then I put the categories in a specific order that I want them to come to life in. As the year progressed, I was pinning the pictures that I was completing with these red pins. I literally remember halfway into the year, I noticed that everything on my vision board was coming to life and I posted this Instagram story about it. So in 2022, I had a very organized glow up plan. Literally last year, I had made the most specific vision board that ended up fully coming to life. Now, here's a side-by-side -side comparison of all of the pictures on my vision board literally coming to life. I am going to be making another physical one, of course. This is still my old one. And if physical vision boards aren't your thing, you can still make like a digital one and keep it as your computer wallpaper or phone wallpaper. That way you're still seeing it every single day. Personally, I prefer the physical one because I like to keep it up in my room and wake up to it every morning. I just think that this is a lot cooler because when you pin it up like this, it feels like you're mapping out your life. <laughs> official 2023 vision board and let's take a moment to appreciate her because I spent a lot of time on her I 
I decided to put together my vision board a little differently this year. Instead of mapping out my goals, I kind of just went for more of a collage style. I feel like this year, a lot of the goals that I have set for myself are a lot smaller, but require more effort to achieve. Like a lot of the goals that I have set for myself are the kind of goals that I have to work towards every day and are gonna require a long period of time to achieve. Like a lot of my goals can't just happen overnight. For example, a common theme that you see throughout my vision board is like getting on my health grind. So that goal is more like a habit that I have to work on and something that I have to get better at slash consistent with every single day. Accomplishing a goal like that will then lead to other things like becoming more confident within myself, raising my vibrations. I have a lot of reminders on my vision board. Since I'm going to be hanging this up, every time I look at it, I'm gonna be reading stuff like the universe is on my side, trust the process. I like to put affirmations on here as well because every time I read them, it's like I'm telling myself, I radiate goddess energy, I am divine, I am a luxury, and I am a dream girl. I have this other reminder here that says you don't grow when you're comfortable because another goal of mine this year is to be presented with new opportunities and new experiences that'll allow me to learn and grow as a person. These new experiences and opportunities can include things like getting invited to events, working on new projects, meeting new people, picking up new hobbies, cool new opportunity that I'd love to experience is letting my hair and makeup professionally done, going on photo shoots. This year, I just got really specific with my goals and honestly, I have a ton of them. Still feel like I'm gonna wanna add more to this. physical cleanse, cleaned our room, did some deep cleaning. It's also important that you guys do a mental cleanse. And we're gonna light some incense right now for the vibes. This is also a great time to remind you guys that you need to be selfish. Because in order to prioritize yourself and especially your mental health, you need to be able to be picky with your energy and where you're putting it. You have to remember that your energy is valuable. So for starters, at the beginning of the year, one thing you should consider doing is going and removing any old energy. If we haven't talked or seen each other in years, we're not friends. If you feel that there's any people in your life that may be toxic, don't respect your boundaries, have disrespected you in any kind of way, delete their contacts, unfollow them, delete any pictures with them, literally just go and remove the people from your life that no longer serve you. And considering that so many of us consume so much social media on a daily basis, try to also be conscious of what you're consuming online and the people that you follow. I personally only follow influencers that inspire me, motivate me, uplift me. If you feel that there's influencers that you follow that maybe make you feel insecure, or bad about yourself, literally go in and follow them. Just trust me guys, cut out the toxic people in your life, go on a blocking spree. You're gonna feel so much more refreshed afterwards. One last thing I wanted to talk about to really give you guys that mental cleanse that you've been needing is to get in the habit of having a dopamine detox at least once a week. I recently learned the importance of this and I'm so glad I did because it's literally changed my life. And here's why. Do you find yourself checking your phone first thing in the morning? Do you find yourself mindlessly scrolling through TikTok for hours and hours? And then you find yourself questioning why you feel so tired tired and unmotivated. Well, it's because these activities that you're partaking in are high dopamine releasing activities. And when you check your phone first thing in the morning, that's your first hit of dopamine. This is why you need to get in the habit of not using your phone first thing in the morning and getting your dopamine instead from like journaling, going on walks, low intensity exercises, or even just like meditating. I've been doing this now for the last couple weeks and I have felt so mentally cleansed. And it definitely was difficult at first, but slowly I've been noticing myself developing healthier habits so you might want to think about that going into 2023. Lastly, let's talk about the essentials you're going to be needing to level up your life in 2023. First, we have podcasts. These have been life-changing for me because I constantly feel like I'm leveling myself up when I replace music with podcasts. Here are some good ones that I would recommend. Essential number two, books. I'm pretty proud I read a good amount of books this year. These are a few that changed my life. Essential number three, high quality makeup. Hear me out, guys. Throughout the year, try investing in more high quality makeup. One of my current favorite makeup brands has to be AF94. I really wanted to talk about a few of AF94's makeup products. AF94 is actually the sponsor of today's video. AF94 is actually a makeup brand that was founded by the music artist Halsey. The makeup brand was mindfully formulated. It's 90s inspired. It was built for creativity, confidence, and experimentation. It's actually really cool because all of their makeup products 
products are $10 or under. So not only are the products super accessible, but they're also very easy to use formulas for beginners. And of course, they are cruelty-free and vegan. I'm going to be adding a pop of color with this Playdate Multi-Use Cheek Plus Lip Color. Did you guys see how well that just blended in? I'm so obsessed with the pigmentation of their lip crayons. They're beautiful. <laughs> And going in with the Backline Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Cowboy Code. I've always had a thing for brown eyeliner and this has become my new favorite. And now to set all of my makeup, I'm going to be using the AF94 5-in-1 Plea the Fifth face mist. Essential number four is an organized phone. We spend most of the day on our phones, so it's super important to lay out your phone in a way that it's going to motivate you. Here are some inspo pics of how you can organize yours. I thought I would share with you guys a few of my essential apps that you might want to download for 2023. So the first one is called Habit, and this one just allows you to keep track of your habits every single day. You can keep it as a widget on your home screen, so when you click on it, you can check off what you did and didn't do. It's super helpful because you see this on your screen every single day. I love the Flow app. It has to be my favorite. It keeps track of your period, but it also gets really specific. And so you can keep track of a ton of other things. This other app called Aura, I use this for like my meditations. For school, I love the Flora app. It's like a productivity app that helps you stay off your phone. I use it for when I need to study and I need to focus. I'm sure everyone knows about this, but the Google Photos app has been a lifesaver because I don't have a lot of space on my phone. So I like to back up all of my photos onto Google Photos. And I've been doing this for years. So it's a great way to to declutter your phone if you need to. I recently got this water drinking tracker app. Basically tracks how much water you're drinking. It's been helpful for me because I've been trying to drink more water. And then lastly, this app called O-Waves is an essential. If you've been wanting to work on your mindfulness or just achieve certain wellness goals, this app is it. Basically, you can block out your day on this app. Anyways, now that we have covered everything, I'm going to make this promise to myself that in order to create my dream life, I will be making myself a priority, treating myself. I'm going to take care of myself mentally and physically do a lot of self-care. There's going to be self-improvement every single day. Every day I'm going to be making sure that I'm learning something new. Then of course I have the healthy habits that I want to keep up with. I hope this video inspired or helped any of you. That is all for this video. I really wanted to thank you guys so much for your support throughout the year. Literally everything I accomplished this year was thanks to you guys watching my videos. I really enjoy making these types of videos because they're just a fun way to get myself excited and motivated for the new year. In the comments go tell me a few of your new year's resolutions and let's make sure sure that we get to 1 million subscribers in 2023. Subscribe. Love you guys so much. Bye!